Uh, I'm, my name is Brad, I work for Brickwright, and today we're going to show you how to make a mix. Come with me, just. Right, to start this process off, first thing you need is water and plasticizer. We use this plasticizer, only 5 mil, that's all you need in it. Only okay. a little bit, you, you, you've got a guide, so you can use that, that guide. So it's like a concentrated plasticizer. Yeah, it's concentrated. Don't use any more five mil because you can't book a break uh, and just 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 crumble the bits. So you don't want to overdo it with that. Just be very careful when you use it. You've already put the right amount of water in, well, give or take. You might have to add a little bit more as we go in. So let's make the let's start the process. Obviously, you've got to turn it on. And then the first thing you do then is you start adding sand. You do a standard four and one every time. So if I start now, you've got one. Decent sized full shovel of sand. You go one, two, three, four. Right, it's still a bit wet and it don't matter, I've got a lot, lot of sand and cement to add, yeah? And then you have just exactly the same amount of cement as the four and one, obviously the same look just in one shovel. So all your shovels are the same size, is that what you're trying to say, Brad? Yeah, exactly. So what cement we're using there, Brad? Uh, we're using Okay. Cement, so just like a blue circle. Yeah, blue That's it there. Same as any other, just what we got on the day. So obviously well as mixing those very wet in it, so you've got to get up to speed very quick, otherwise it'll be too wet. Two, three, four. Same again, get a bit low. Straight in. Mixing now is getting it. It's, I'll add a bit more first. It's starting to get in now, it's not as wet. We're always keep on top of that with another one. So I've got to go another one, two, three, four. And it's going to end up the rest of this bag straight in, so I'm going to struggle to, uh, struggle to get a bit of bag with a shovel now. I know that's what one shovel's worth to some experience. Straighten in, give it a bit of space, get it all out. Then, put the bag up, check it to the side for now, it will be recycled at some point. Now that is very dry in here. I've got another four and one of uh, sand and cement. So I'm trying to get it right before the end, so I don't want it to be too wet. So I've got all my water going in, that's going to take a lot of water now, because the sand is very dry. So do you clean the mixer as you mix, Brad? Yeah, as you, as you go in, make sure you keep your mixer really, really clean as well. As, as, especially the first mix of the day, you should have, have it absolutely clean in from the last time you used it. So that why is it I, important to get your mixer clean, Brad? If you don't get it really clean, it'll all want to stick to the side. It's stuck to the side a little bit now, but as it's continuously mixing, it will come off the sides and it all mixes one. You've got to make sure the back is not uh, full of dry sand because you'll have two separate mixes. You'll have all the mix at the front perfect and all the back will be so dry it won't be usable. So it's getting here now and then I'm going to add one more four and one of sand and cement. So same process, keep it nice and easy for yourself. Make sure your sand's always the right, uh, the same amount every single time. Otherwise you're not going to have a consistent uh, ratio to sand and cement. So there's another four. Right, so you've got the right amount in here now, it's a bit dry, so I'll add a little bit more water, but I want to make sure it's consistently mixing as well. So I'll add a little bit more water, make sure you get it back as well, because that will not mix and we don't get it right. So you've got it in, it's spinning, it's spinning, and well, from experience you can tell when you're roughly there with the water, the way the, the, way the mix is going. So I'm going to leave it at nah, no. It, it doesn't look the best to me, you've got to let it uh, mix on its own. Don't add too much water, because if you add too much water, it'll just go too wet, turn it to slop, and not be usable. Because you have another plasticizer to do, do, do his work, and mix through all of it at once. And then, yeah, that's basically it. Obviously, it's easier said than done. You've got to... You, the more you do it, the, the better you'll get at it. So, the plasticizer, just to reiterate for the viewers, is... Basically, explain the, the plasticizer. It, the more the, the mix mixes in together, you can see it now, it's starting to turn a little bit wetter. 
And then go on, Brad. You, you can you can yeah, tell him exactly what he said then. And and uh, yeah, you just watch it. Just watch it now. Just step away from it. You haven't got to keep your eye on it all the time because you know once you've got the right ratio and right right uh, c uh, cement, right water, there and thereabouts. Obviously, you're adding every now and then depending on what's happening. You've got the right plasticizer, and then just step away for a minute or two. Just honestly, just just watch the magic. Watch, watch your work. Watch how it works yourself. And yeah, it's, it's already starting to get there. I'll let, I want to let it mix a bit more because it's still, still maybe a little bit uh, too dry, not quite there. But just don't add too much water. I mean, when I stepped away with, uh, with, with, with the water, it still looked really dry. But you just got to watch the magic and just watch it do it. So what would happen if you gave like a substandard mix to say a plasterer or a bricklayer or a ground worker? You know, why, why do you, why are you trying to achieve this well, fluffy? Well, I'm gonna get it perfect because when, when you're laying the blocks. It's got to be right because it'll be much easier for you to use and, and it's, it's just all around a better job for... So it's more workable yeah, and more you can workable. tap the blocks or bricks yeah, down exactly. to and where you want to work day, it. It's easy for me to clean it because it's going to start... See, it's already started to come off the sides now. It's a little bit there but that's minus just a little hole out. And then you keep it on top of your mixer, you're keeping it clean, you, you're giving it a workable mix and it's an all around better job for everyone. So I suppose the only other thing to mention in terms of mixes is like a bricklayer's mix, a brickies mix is like a four and one. Um, you know, you don't want your your mortar to be stronger than the brick or the block, the material you're using. The mortar needs to be weaker than that. Back to my college days. So, you know, there are other mixes out there, aren't there? You know, like a, you can do a six and one. Um, you can do like a, a, a lean mix, which is like in concrete, or you can do a strong mix, which would be like a three three sand, one cement. You might use that benching manholes and stuff like that. But um, what sand are we using there, Brad? Uh, we're using building sand. Obviously, we've already took a bit of the bag now, so all this at the top, which was at the top, is really bone, bone dry. So obviously, more drier it is, more wet, uh, the more water you're going to need. But this year, it's a bit more clumpy, it's a bit more wet. The more you worked on the bag, the wetter it's going to get. So you always got to be careful. From experience you'll know but if you're not you've got to be really careful you can buy them in single bags they'll be wet so if it's too wet then you think oh wait yeah, that's, that's really wet sand put the sand in first let it mix on its own and if you then see me dried water there's nothing wrong with that i've made the mistake of adding, adding the water first not really because i got really wet sand and it's unusable it's unusable you've got to go in the bin and the boss ain't happy because you're wasting his sand which he's, which he supplied us with and yeah, it, it, it's just never going to work. So another question for you then, Brad, while we're doing this mixing, what other um, sand could we use and why why uh, would we change the sand? Well, obviously building sand for building walls, blocks, all that type of things. So for brick laying or yeah. plastering, yeah, yeah. rendering. Then, yeah, and then you can get sharp sand, which we generally use for screeding for a drive or laying patios. That's, it's, it's just more gritty, it's just old holds well for when you're doing a patio. Yeah. But obviously you can't use this through uh through block because you've got little bit deep little bits like little stones just mm -hmm. little bits in there which you can't you can't use because it'll stop him knocking his bricks down, his blocks down and you'll just never Okay. You will just never be happy with So that. what mixer are we using? Uh we're using a bell mixer, one ten box, so it's on site so you, you can't get really, well you can get maybe like a light little mild shot if anything goes wrong. But, Foolproof uh, for bell mixers mate, they use them for years, yeah, haven't we? Yeah exactly that. Always the go to the mixer on site. Shots. Uh, yeah, they've always worked for us, so we always stick for them. But if you've got a 240, you've got to be really careful because it is very easy to get shocked off it. So we use a 110, we use a 110 box. which we'll show you, which is this here. So, so what's that doing? It's converting 240 volts into 110 volts. So if something does happen, God forbid, um, safety-wise, it's... Uh, it's not going to kill you, Brad, is it? No. It might give you a little bit of a shock, but it's yeah. going to keep you safe, isn't it? It'll be a mild shock. You, you will feel it, definitely. But, uh, but uh, you won't be going to hospital after getting a little bit Okay. So what's this mix doing now, then, mate? Run us through. Yeah, this mix Talk us get, through this, this mix. This mix is getting here now. It's almost there. You can see quite easy. It's, it's, uh, it, that, that's almost the perfect mix now. Obviously, I haven't added any water since it looked dry when I stopped adding water. And I've just let it do the job. The plasticizer is mixing really nice now. And I, I'm happy with it, the boss will be happy with it, and that's all around the perfect job then. Okay, one last question then, just for the viewers. What happened to your hair this morning, Brad? Oh, don't ask. Been laying blocks, sweating, very hot day. And uh, yeah, Justin can't say nothing because he's almost bald. <laughs> and he's very grey. You will, you will notice if we ever meet him. So another special ingredient you would say for site work talking about mixing is mixing a bit of humour, a bit of banter in with yeah, the day. Because yeah, if, if, if we didn't, we'd... Uh, no. You know, we'd if struggle, we wouldn't we? If we didn't take the mess, mick out of each other and uh, just have a bit of banter, then your day's just going to be boring. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely boring. And it actually makes it 
makes it nice to work with people like that's right you know we get on with each other that's you can right take the mick and know it's not personal that's it so yeah so but, but the thing is what i've learned today apart from doing the mix is um i didn't realize i was bald yeah, oh yeah, you wait till you see it. You wait till you see the back I of the I didn't actually set. know that, Brad. Yeah, so, he has a he has you know, you're, you're saying day. about banter, you've, uh, I think you've upset me a bit there, mate, to be honest. Oh, you'll live. You'll live. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this mix then. So we're looking good. So just run us through the last stages. Brad, I'm not sure if you want to get a, a troll and switch it off yeah. and just show the workability to the viewers so they, they understand what we mean by workability. So I can quickly knock it off now because it's basically there. And when you run your troll through it, it's just e absolutely effortless. And if you see you, whenever on the troll through the line, there's no little cracks and little breaks in it, you know that the mix is right. I mean, you can have it sometimes, it'll be, it'll, it could be a few reasons, too much plaster, plasticizer, too much water, it's, it's, it's just not right. And when it's like that, you, it's, it's basically unusable. And I suppose it's key to get the mix, especially when you're working on brickwork, because you don't want one mix weaker or one mix no, stronger than the no. other. <laughs> and the other thing that it could do is you don't want you know, if you if you use the wrong aggregate and the wrong cement, and you're working on face brickwork, you could have one colour cement drying out different to the other, couldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I've seen it before on on brickwork. Luckily, we haven't done it. Well, see, we haven't done it. We, we've been doing it so long, we we shouldn't be doing it. But um, I've seen brickwork. We've had a really strong, almost almost a colour white. The the, the compo is on one end, and at the other end is almost brown because you can cause you can just see the sand, and it's just yeah, it's, it's the wrong job. If your brickwork done look, uh, if your brickwork looks right, and your compo looks wrong, then it's just going to make it look stupid, isn't it? It's not going to mm -hmm. look. Nice, it's just going to ruin the whole job. Okay, so to finish off then, so we'll say, let you say thank yeah. you very much. Any questions yeah. and all that? Thank you for uh, for, for viewing our, uh, our video today. If you need to leave any uh, comments for any help, we'll happily answer your comments and uh, leave a like and a share. Uh, like and a uh, sub subscribe. And, subscribe. and just to let you know as well, Brad wasn't actually talking Welsh there, although he's from Aberdeer and up in Aberdeer they do talk rather quick. So apologies for that, but hope you enjoyed it. And... Uh, what are we going to do, Brad? We're going to go and lay some blocks. Yeah, we're going to lay some blocks in the sun and get more. With a nice top. mix of cement, or compo as we call it, and we'll see them on the next one, yeah? yeah? See you on the next job. Great, lovely. Thank you, Brad. Thank you.